Ready? Go. Go. <laughs> hey Warriors, excuse all that rustling in the background. It's a windy day. Those are all the leaves rustling out there. This is our next project. A desk we picked up on Facebook Marketplace for free. We're going to do some painting. We're going to do our smoky top. If you've never seen that, stick around. You'll want to see how we do the smoky top. We're going to do that on the top and on the front of the drawers, we think. We may even do something different with the chair. We're thinking about maybe actually painting the seat of that chair, which is a uh, vinyl. So we'll see how that goes. If not, then we'll cover it, but we're going to see if we can get it painted. So let's get started. We're Jim and Cindy, and we're inviting you to come along on our journey of furniture makeovers. We picked up this desk from Facebook Marketplace, and it was actually free. It was part of a bedroom set, and the entire set was in really good shape. Um, the desktop didn't even have scratches in it. At first, over here on the end, we thought we had some scratches, but taking a better look at it, we realized that this was just some gunk that was on top of the desk. It wasn't scratched but the entire piece was just in fabulous shape, especially considering its age. The chair, even the legs didn't have any damage to them, which that's kind of common. And this seat right here is vinyl, and we're gonna try to paint that later on in the video, so you'll wanna stick around for that. So the first thing to do is to pull out all the drawers and clean the unit up. So Cindy started vacuuming the drawers. And while she was doing that, I worked on removing some of the hardware. These little fake lock covers that they put on the front of a lot of the older furniture um, could be a little tricky to remove. We found the best way to do it is to take a scraper and just get it just under the edge and pry that out a little bit. And at that point, we can get a screwdriver in there and we can pretty much pull it out. It's uh, about the easiest way we found to do it without damaging the wood when prying these uh, little pieces off of the furniture. This was another little piece that we had a little tricky time removing. I thought that this uh, pen tray that was inside the top desk drawer was actually glued in, so I ran my scraper down the sides um, just to break any glue that was in there off. Then I also ran it under the tray. And once I did that, I was able to just pry it right out and it came out beautifully. And then I realized there was no glue down there on the bottom or on the sides. And that's when we realized that the tray was just stapled in from the bottom of the drawer. Now, I don't know if these staples would have come out as easy as they did if I hadn't pried the drawer out first. But in any case, uh, we just flipped the drawer over and we were able to pull these staples out. So Barry, one of our good friends over at Mad City Modern, um, has, we've been in contact back and forth and talking and stuff, and he saw poor Cindy cleaning this stuff and realized that she was using one of these and going back and forth into the kitchen several times to put soapy water and the rinse water and everything else in there. And of all things, he went on to our Amazon wish list, and look what he got Cindy. He sent it over to us, and it's a double bucket. It's a double bucket. So if you look at it, one side has the soapy water, one side has the rinse water. So now she only needs to make one trip, and she has everything set to go. So Barry, thank you for getting that from our Amazon wish list for us. We appreciate it. And I know Cindy especially appreciates it. Yes, thank you so much, Barry. And we are going to start using it today. Hey, while we're thinking about it, we sure would appreciate it if you guys would hit that subscribe button and you'll get notified of all of our future videos and all the tips and tricks we give you and smash that like button for us. Look at me like an old man looking over my glasses. <laughs> sure would be appreciated. Ooh, it's almost empty. Yeah, we're almost out on this one. 
lasted a long time. Huh? It lasted a long time. Yeah, and the other jar is twice as thick. I know. So in order to make our desk a little bit more modern, we decided to fill in these carved designs that they had both at the bottom and they had a couple at the top of the desk. These were kind of very 80s and we decided to fill them in. So we filled these in with Bondo and uh, as you'll see, uh, then sanded them down after they were all dry. There are some times when you use Bondo, um, especially with just one coat, that it uh, finishes up just a little uneven, or there might be a few places where maybe there were some air bubbles or it didn't quite fill everywhere where you thought you had it pushed in. So there are a couple little marks in here. We decided to go ahead and put some Dixie Bell mud on those to smooth this out. So while the Dixie Bell mud was drying, we cleaned up our hardware a little bit and we wanted to get it ready. So we are spraying that with a black enamel and getting it all ready to put on. If you notice, I have the handles in the up position. Um, when we go ahead and give it another coat, we'll flip those down so that we can get all sides of that hardware. So we just found a box on our front doorstep from Amazon Prime. We didn't order anything, so let's find out. Maybe it's from our wish list. And there is, oh, from Deanna. Deanna, thank you. Thank you, Deanna. I read the tag. I already know what it is. What is it? <laughs> this is something that Cindy is really going to appreciate. Ooh. Yeah. And this is actually... Nice. This is actually perfect timing, Deanna, because winter is coming and we are starting to paint in the house. And it's really a pain to move our furniture around in the house when we're trying to paint. This will make it really easy for us to just kind of move it around and spin it and stuff. So that's really appreciated. Sweet. Thank you. Deanna, thank you so much. Thank we appreciate you. Thank you. you. And here we're just going to rough up the surface a little bit with a 120 grit sandpaper just to give the paint a little bit better adhesion, something to uh, bite into on these finishes. Look, Deanna, we're using them already. Nice. How sweet is that? Perfect. 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 Perf
perfect. Because the top of this desk is a laminate and it's very glossy, um, we did give it a scuff sand. However, we're going to put a coating of Slick Stick from Dixie Bell just to make sure that our adhesion of our paint is good on the top of this desk. And when you're painting, you don't necessarily have to have a very expensive brush in order to get a good finish. We almost exclusively use the zebra brushes. We find that they give us the best finish and overall performance. If you guys are interested in checking out the zebra brushes, we have a link down in the description for that. We also wanted to use some of the Dixie Bell Boss, the areas on the front of the desk where we patched. When we put the Dixie Bell mud on there, we saw a little bit of bleed through probably because we sanded down through the finish into the wood. So we're just gonna take some boss and we're gonna seal that up on those three spots uh, where we filled in those designs.
So since we're going to be painting this, we just want to put a little bit of tooth on this um, vinyl, although the paint should stick pretty well anyway. So I'm just hitting this with a very fine sandpaper, get rid of anything that's flaking on here. This is just a 320 grit. So I'm just going to run it over all the areas here just to give it a little quick scuff. So we're going to decoupage the sides of the drawers with buffalo check. The thing is, is you need a one ply. So the best way to do this is flip it and it kind of loosens. And very gently peel it apart. and then we're ready to decoupage. We'd like to thank one of our viewers, Patty Paints at Hickory House, for the suggestion of putting plastic wrap on top of the napkin like this, and it makes it easier to smooth out. It certainly did. That was a great suggestion, and we absolutely recommend doing it that way. I'm sure we'll be doing it that way from now on. Patty, thank you. And one other thing Patty caught was on our last video, which was our fall challenge, we made a little mistake, and she brought it to our attention. So maybe you can see what the mistake is. Yes, we put the bottom handle on upside down. So through the magic of video, we corrected that. Thank you, Patty. Keen eye. We appreciate the comments and suggestions. Thanks again. We are going to try to paint this vinyl seat with Rethunk Junk by Laura, her resin paint, in midnight. And we understand that the paint is flexible, and even painting it on either vinyl or leather or anything like that, that the paint will stick and that it will be flexible so it won't crack on you. So we're going to do two coats and we'll let you see how it looks when we're all done.
Ugh. What? Yeah, see? Should've left you overworked it. <laughs> Should've left well enough alone. You overworked it. Okay. Give me the brush. <laughs> <laughs> Get the brush out of my hands. Step away from the brush. <laughs> And we're almost there. Just a few more things to do. Um, one of the final steps is we want to top coat the top of the desk with the clear coat satin from Dixie Bell. We just want to give a little extra protection to the top of this desk since we know it's going to be probably heavily used. And a couple of coats of the satin will just help protect that. Even though the silk paint is um, an all-in-one and has top coat built in, we just feel a little extra protection couldn't hurt. Well, to be honest, Cindy and I found that there were a lot more little things to do on this desk than we originally thought. But we did get it all done. All those little things are done. The hardware is installed. The seats put back together. So let's take a look at the final reveal. And we'll start by reminding you of what it is we started out with. And there you go. We are really excited. We think this came out really well. Let us know what you think in the comments. We appreciate you guys watching. We really do. And as always, have a flippin' awesome day. <laughs>